for felon voting rights here in Florida is getting some national attention. Amendment 4, which was approved in a landslide in 2018, restored voting rights to most felons who had served their sentences. But state lawmakers then passed a bill that requires all fines and fees to be paid first. It has left many unable to vote in this upcoming election. Pastor Clifford Tyson of Tampa, he is one of them. We've spoken to him many times before. Last night, he told 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl that he sued the state after he couldn't even figure out how much he owed. It's crazy, but it's designed. To me, it's like a poll tax. Okay, voter suppression. Whose vote are they trying to suppress? Black and brown, lower income voters, it affects them most. Well, and like we've reported before as well, there is no easy way for felons to figure out how much they actually owe. And even if they can, many simply can't afford it. So in the past year, advocates have been raising millions of dollars to help felons pay off those debts. But Florida's Republican Attorney General Ashley Moody is now calling for an investigation into some of those donations. Critics argue that it is benefiting one party over another. But the nonpartisan Florida Rights Restoration Coalition says that that is simply not true.